What is going on everyone? Today we are going to be adding a very simple device that is easy to install on our Tesla that shows critical information that is normally only viewable by Tesla service employees. So now you are able to see things like the current health of your battery, uh, the battery degradation so far. Uh, it shows everything that has been using your battery. Uh, it shows all the information about how many charges you have done, how many fast charges you have done. Uh, it also shows your hardware information, software information, and it also acts as a instrument cluster where it will show when the autopilot is triggered, it will show all the turn signals and everything, and it comes with all the mounting hardware. So you can use this as an instrument cluster. So let's get started with today's video. We're gonna do a detailed installation. We're gonna do a walkthrough with this display do full demo and then I'm gonna drive with this device and I'm gonna show you everything that you can see using this device if you're new to the channel we cover a lot of Tesla accessories and modifications we have done some crazy modifications in this channel so if you'd like to see videos like this in the future please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and come back next week for another Tesla video this is everything the package contains there's a lot of accessories where you are mounting the phone but what I'm really interested in that I want to showcase today are these two pieces. So this is the one that actually goes to the OBD port. This one we're gonna bypass underneath the front passenger seat. And then this just plugs into a port that is here. And this is the, the brain of this system. This is what is going to show you all the data. Everything else is to mount the phone and charge it. So we got a couple of different products. So this one is where you can mount on the side. Uh, of your uh, center screen. So if you want to put your phone here, you can just mount this right here. This one is to mount it on your steering wheel. So as you can see, I already have this phone mount here, but if I didn't, I would just peel this off and then put it right here so that I can mount the phone. And then they also send you this wireless charger. So basically how this works is you, you would peel this off and then put this here then take this and connect to your USB ports. If you have a USB-A or USB-C, they got you covered because they have a USB-A to USB-C converter right here. You can charge it. Again, they have this bend where you can just put this and then it will work, so A to C. So it's a 90 degree bend here. They also send you an extender. So if you need to extend this to go farther distances, you can do that. So this is essentially all phone mount accessory. So let's go ahead and actually install the unit so we can test it out. Before you get it started, go to safety and security and hit this power off button so that the car is turned off. So we need to remove this panel. We have done this so many times. Just pull this out. Now we need to take this new cable and then bypass it right here. And we have a bunch of stuff already connected to this. You can daisy chain all of this together. So what we're gonna do is remove this unit first. So this is this male to female. And then, so to remove it, just hold on, press and hold on to this middle tab. And then we're holding it down, pull this out. Now we're going to take the male connector, this one, and then connect it right here. And then take the old male connector, the previous one from the Tesla, and then connect it right here so that you can complete the connection. And you'll hear a click, now this connection is complete. So now this system should have the power, the new system should have the power. Then take this plug that came with the new kit and then just plug it in. So right here, we're going to plug it in. Now this system is power, the test logic unit. Now we just need to bypass this connector in the front. So let's go to the front passenger seat. So to bypass this plug right here, we're gonna have to reach under this seat. And I'm gonna try my best to show you the plug. Might be a little bit hard. So it is that one. It is this towards the right. So there are three plugs and then this right mouth plug is the one that we need to tap. So we need to, same procedure. You just have to press and hold onto this middle tap and while holding it down, you need to take it out.
So if we look at it down here, as you can see, we made that connection. So that one, the new male plug is connected to the female Tesla plug, and then we made a bypass right here. So everything is connected. So after you have connected everything, go ahead and connect this test logic on your Bluetooth. So you go to Bluetooth setting, and then there will be this test logic right here. Now we need to launch the test logic app. So as you can see, this dash is now connected. The test logic app is connected with our Tesla. It is showing the motor power. It is showing the current range, which is 152. And if we go look at the Tesla, it is also 152. So that matches right there. Of course, some of this information become available as we start driving. Um, and then of course it is uh, right now in zero. I don't know why it shows drive because the, the Tesla is not active, that is why. But it also shows the odometer right here. If we swipe towards the left, this is where we see a lot of this information. It shows the current kilowatt, it shows the climate control, how much, how much battery has been used by each of this. So that's pretty neat that you can see all of this information right here. Uh, this is battery temperature. It says high temperature right now, 167 Fahrenheit, but this is not correct. This is because we haven't driven it yet. And I'll show you what this screen looks like when we start driving. Then it shows my information. This was built in the Fremont factory. This was 1221, 2018. So it's been about four, a little bit more than four years since my Tesla was built. It shows all of that information. Here's the car's info. So it has hardware three. It, it shows all of the information about your car. When you go to battery info, it says it is, it is fair. Uh, 365 charge cycles, 14.2% degradation, which is right around where I would imagine a four year old car would be uh, for Tesla shows the total kilowatt hour now um, and then the energy so it says we have used this much energy in the lifetime so that's uh, a lot of kilowatt hour charged 30 percent fast dc charger so it shows all of this information right here that you typically don't see on your tesla so this is what the driving footages look like uh, let me show you here so everything is in sync with the Tesla. So there's no lag. Um, it picks up everything that the Tesla is showing and um, it shows all the information. And right here in the bottom is your power versus regenerative braking. So green, so it matches right what you see here. So this is a very in sync cluster. And as soon as I put in an autopilot, watch what happens. So this is autopilot and it showed that blue right there and um, there is that blue circle here and it is just following exactly what the car is doing and if i take it out of autopilot it took out and it started showing the normal screen so that is also really nice that it shows the autopilot uh, turn on and off whenever you engage with the autopilot now right here uh, i'm gonna let the autopilot make a turn and if you go, so the autopilot is gonna make a turn and it shows right here the green signal. So the car is stopped here, it's going to creep forward a little bit for the stop sign. And then when it makes that turn, as you see, this is clearly reflected on this dash. Whatever the car is doing is reflected on this dash and it is real time, very, very well synced with the car. So this is what the screen looks like right now. As you see, it is very well synced with the car. It is showing the speed very well. It's showing all the information real time, no lag. All the turn signals is very accurate. As you see, it matches the Tesla's screen. Then what, ha what happens when I put it in autopilot? So this is autopilot and it clearly shows that blue circle right there and indication that it is in autopilot. It is making that turn and it clearly shows all of that right there. And if I get out of autopilot, it shows the normal screen. And right here, it shows the speed, the max, whatever is shown on the Tesla's screen is also visible in this screen right here. Uh, the speed limit, the max speed, everything is visible right here on both of those screens. Another great benefit of this Tesla Logic device is that when you're making a lane change and when you give your blinkers, and if the car detects that there is another car in the blind spot, the turn signal actually turns red from green. 
indicating that there is something in the blind spot. So that is a really great feature that we don't see on any other added displays in the past. So it shows the range, it shows the projected range, it shows all of this information here on this screen. If we swipe left, this is where it shows the motor power, it shows how much the battery is been used by what, so the battery heating, current kilowatt, um, other information from the car, climate control, seat heating. We haven't turned on the seat heater yet, so it doesn't show anything here. Uh, this is the power, so you can see the, the total horsepower and everything here. Um, and when we do the turn signal, it shows on all screens the turn signals. When we go towards the left, and this is your car's info. Again, it shows all the information about the car in this main screen. Now, if I turn on the seat heater, it, it started showing how much current is used for the seat heater. If I turn on the climate control, now it started showing the climate control right there. Overall, I really like this device. As I said in the beginning, it shows information that is usually only available to Tesla service employees. I like how it shows the battery degradation, shows the time I have spent fast charging the car, what is really using the power and capacity from the battery in real time, and the other details about the car. This is a great instrument cluster option using the app. This is the first product that shows such clarity on autopilot activation, notification, and visuals. And overall, the UI is very sleek and it looks very HD. The installation was fairly straightforward and the kit came with everything to mount the phone. The only thing I would recommend TeslaLogic is to perhaps come up with a standalone display so we don't have to use our phones every time and that display can stay within the car. I have a link down below for this product. If you have any questions or comments about this TeslaLogic device, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching today's video. If you found this video helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the channel. Please come back soon for another Tesla accessory review.